why is this guy uh, telling us that you've been to prison? <laughs> I bring meatballs to work for lunch. A little friend, I made them at home. They're fantastic. So I was going to heat them up in a little kitchenette area they have there, but I didn't have anything to dip it in. I didn't bring any tomato sauce and nothing like that. So I look in the little condiment drawer that they have at work. Right. And they have packets of ketchup and packets of grape jelly. Yeah. So I cut a, about me three you or know, four packets open. With a name like Smucker's, it's got to be good. I actually think it was probably Smucker's, Smucker's jelly. Yeah. So I, I mix it all together on a plate, put it in a microwave for a second, mix it together, and I make a sweet and sour sauce for the meatballs. <laughs> right. So a guy comes up to me, <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, what are you? Is this a fellow salesman? Yeah, uh, another guy that worked in the store. Okay, he right. wasn't a sales guy. General RV yeah. off of I-4. Yeah. He's like, so, uh, hey, buddy, what are you doing? What are you making for lunch? I go, oh, uh, just mixing together some uh, jelly and ketchup. And his eyes goes, Jelly and ketchup? I never heard of that before. And I go, yeah, it's a, it's an old prison recipe. <laughs> he's like, it's like, huh? I was like, yeah, you know, it's just simple ketchup and grape jelly. I learned to make it in prison. I mean, you know, prison food's terrible. It doesn't make anything taste good. I used to make this all the time. I would barter with guys with this sauce. I'd, I'd steal the packets from the uh, from the cafeteria, make it in my cell. Right. I'd be the sauce boss of uh, the prison. The sauce <laughs> boss. Did you tell him what prison you were in? I told him. I told him I was. The only way I could think of is Stark. Stark. I mean, the, the I know. I don't know. State penitentiary <laughs> in, in Stark. Uh, like, so <laughs> you 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 made this in prison? I was like, yeah. Oh, you were in the big house, and then you you did some hard time <laughs> at Stark. He wants to know why. I was in prison, but he doesn't want to ask. So I'm just sitting there eating my meatballs, dipping it in the sweet and sour sauce. I'm like, yeah, 1999 to 2003. <laughs> <laughs> Little white collar crime. I thought it was pretty funny, but the government didn't. <laughs> yeah, what, nobody what? got hurt, just a little white money. What, what, like embezzlement? Or was, I mean, some, some you fork. put him at ease that you weren't going to slit his throat. Yeah, I didn't kill anybody. Yeah, you or, weren't a violent criminal. Right. You, you were just an embezzler. Nobody got kidnapped on my watch, right. but I learned to make this great recipe in prison, and I'm showing him how to make it, and, <laughs> and his eyes are huge. And then right as I leave, and this guy's like just beside himself after hearing this story. I'm like, hey, by the way, not too many people here know that I've been to prison. So just between you and I, okay? And he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. So now. you tell him, hey, don't spread the word that I was in prison. Hey, listen. What an idiot. I looked at him. I was like, hey, listen, be a dude about it, okay? Don't tell anybody I've been to prison. Huh? How about that? And he's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no and, it's and, cool. And, and by the way, folks, Fester's never been to prison. Now, he, he got close with the turkey fryer fire, but... That was a that was ridiculous. That would have been right. county jail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we're being technical about it. So, and a, almost everybody there knows me. They knew in '99 I worked at the radio right. station. So, yeah. Everybody knew I yeah. haven't been to prison yeah. except for this guy. Right. He tells everybody. Right. So you asked him, "Hey, don't tell anyone that I was in prison. People don't know." And then he tells everybody. He told everybody See, that I've been to prison. You should have told him it was violent crime. Then he wouldn't have told anybody. Uh, you're, you're probably right, Roxanne. But I slit some throats. You start bringing in prison food. So over the I course, was known as the Plant City Prowler. <laughs> some, some guy, <laughs> friends of mine are coming up to me and like, "Hey, why is this guy uh, telling us that you've been to prison?" I was like, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so, did you tell this guy, "Hey, dude, I, I was." I told you not to tell anybody, and by the way, I'm joking around, but now I know that you're a rat. <laughs> no. yeah. I, I don't know that I want to tell a guy that I haven't been to prison, then call him a rat. Oh, man. <laughs> you're the but, cheese but, eater. But, huh? for, for, I had this guy going for a year and a half. Yeah. What? I, mean, I, I, never, <laughs> I never let him off the hook. Oh, man. Is he still there? No. He's right. in prison now. <laughs>